Karinak snack where life is too short to be serious. Finally, I get to try Truff. Been a while, been a while. Well, not really. I've known about Truff for at least a few months. Um, hi, Poppy Eats, if you're watching. Um, you know, he's the one that I figured that out from. Uh, he had a video with Truff Sauce. I don't know if they had sent him stuff or he just got his hands on it somehow, but, uh, you know, he put it on his chicken sandwiches. I think he probably got a package. I can't remember. It doesn't matter. Um, he likes it, I think. So, you know, after hearing about it, I was like, you know, cool. I'm kind of intrigued by it. Wish Truff would send me some. I really would do a review for it. But anyways, um, you know, I've been intrigued by it. Target in a, a, a wide variety, uh, you know, range of areas has truff sauce now but the targets in the 757 just like many stores in the 757 suck they suck seven seven they treat 757 like it's an uncultured area so i just i just get angry i get so angry target's the worst it's the worst of the worst in the 757 the absolute worst not to go on a long tangent but just like the the oat bars unavailable at Target. I can't find the Swiss Miss pumpkin spice hot cocoa. I can't find anything that's interesting at the Targets here because they just suck so bad. Just like with the Panda Express um, Beyond Chicken. Not available anywhere in the 757. You have to go to Fredericksburg. Fredericksburg. My guys. My friends. Everyone. So just frustrating. But yeah, just seeing that they had truff sauce, you know, at Target, nowhere around here. I think Richmond, I could get it. And then there were a few other things, like seeing Taco Bell do truff sauce at a specific location kind of pissed me off too. You know, I just wanted to get my hands on this truff sauce. So Taco Bell, their, if their truff sauce thing did well enough, it'll come out nationwide at some point. Um, we're, we're yet to see, but truffle sauce is basically like a hot sauce with, of course, truffle oil infused in it. So they're putting it on their mac and cheese. I'm sure you can customize an order and you know, you can smell it. Like I pulled this out of the bag and you could just smell it through the plastic container. That's how strong the truffle is here. So I'm very intrigued. I'm excited to see what this tastes like. There used to be noodles and company over in Hampton and Newport News where I work, but it closed. So we're here in Virginia Beach today trying it out finally after it came out about a week or two ago. But yeah. Looks good, doesn't it? I'm going to go ahead and mix this stuff together. Now, I'm very unsure about Noodles & Company just because of that fact that they they seem to be a dying brand that's, you know, being forced to kind of close a lot of locations. Um, so we're definitely going to see. Uh, but, you know, some places I've enjoyed that are dying, like Boston Market. Not too bad, not too shabby. So, um, you know, we'll definitely have to try it out before we, you know, say it's bad. But I expect good things. We'll see. Ooh. Oh, please go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share. Check out my Instagram right next to that. I don't know. That's the mac and cheese or the truff sauce. Got a good helping of truff sauce in this and cheese. I like that. I really like that. Like, you get the truffle. But it's not like a strong truffle flavor. You get the heat. But there's just this flavor profile that kind of tastes like a sweetness to it. Like a sweetness and a smokiness. Like, ooh. That is really good. The mac and cheese itself, not too bad. Not too bad. But that truff sauce, my friends, that truff sauce, hmm, there's just something in this stuff that's 
so good. Mm -mm -mm. I just, I don't know what to say. I think the mac and cheese is decent, for sure. But it's what makes this thing is the truff sauce. It's the blend of spices, of, uh, you know, savory flavor, and then just a hint of sweetness. This actually really surprised me. With truffle sauce, I was thinking, okay, this is going to be like a buffalo uh, truffle kind of thing. I guess it's going to have heat. It's going to have truffle flavor. But something else, it's it's delicious. Now I'm really jealous and I really have to get my hands on some truff. I really do. So, Poppy, if you're watching, or Poppy's friends, or fans, if you're watching, you can give him a little nudge and ask him, how did you get this truff sauce for free? You know, or not even for free, but how you got it in general. I would like to know. I, I feel like you could probably buy it online, but... I don't, feel like spend, I don't feel like spending all that money. But man, that sauce is good. Um, overall, I'd say an eight. Just because of mac and cheese itself. It's, uh, but that sauce. The sauce gets a ten. The, the rest of it, I'd say overall an eight. But if you have a noodles and company. And maybe you have a favorite dish. Maybe the mac and cheese isn't your thing. Get that truff sauce on it. So, yeah, that's it. Um, truff sauce. Fire, 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 fire. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this review. And I will see y'all around. Yeah.